what's good everyone ali here and i'm really excited about today's video a lot of you all have been asking about do i actually use the pixel 8 pro and how my experience has been the past few months so in today's video i'm going, going to do an official review and comparison of the pixel 8 pro versus the iphone 15 pro in this video we are going to be doing more of a real world and like practical comparison between the two The Pixel 8 Pro was my first ever Android purchase so I've been an Apple fanboy my entire life I'm probably like the definition of an Apple fanboy I actually really enjoy using the Pixel 8 Pro and this is all my opinion and my experience so yesterday I picked up the Apple Watch Ultra 2 and I've been on a fence about this watch for I guess since it came out I did buy it the Ultra 1 and did like an unboxing and then I just returned it cause I thought it was too expensive not really worth the money but now since I do so much outdoor running and outdoor exercising and workouts I thought it'd be the perfect time to cop the Apple Watch Ultra 2 before my half marathon in San Francisco. Now I also think you are going to notice a theme when it comes to how I use the Pixel 8 Pro and that theme will be censored on productivity and that's just my experience like the iPhone 15 Pro has been my go-to for consuming content but the Pixel 8 Pro has been my go-to when it comes to productivity like my favorite productivity app is to do list and I also use an app which is this mood tracking app that is a great way to just see how I felt through throughout the week so I decided to purchase the Pixel 8 Pro because I have to admit that the iPhone doesn't really excite me that way it used to and has seemed to plateau from a software innovation standpoint if you ignore the slight camera upgrades there honestly isn't that much of a difference between the 15 pro and previous iphone generations be to be honest as a software engineer and content creator i was thoroughly curious about the pixels camera and ai capabilities picked up the, the iphone 15 pro in the new natural titanium color with 256 GB of storage and I initially wanted the blue titanium color but when I saw the natural titanium color in person I instantly felt that this was the best color the iPhone 15 Pro has a 6.1 inch super retina always on promotion XDR display with 2000 nits of peak brightness and part with the all new 17 buoyant chip the iPhone 15 Pro camera system is equipped with a 48 megapixel main camera delivering super high resolution photos. That's a direct quote from Apple that I 100% agree with as a creator who loves taking photos, posting college pictures on Instagram and posting carousel pictures on TikTok using my, my iPhone 15 Pro X. The main camera has a 24mm focal length at f1.78 aperture, a sneaky underrated 13 mmf 2.2 ultra wide camera that performs pretty well in low light the telephoto camera also has a 48 mm focal length at f 1.78 aperture giving you those sharp and high resolution magazine like picture quality apple also markets that the battery life for the iphone 15 pro is up to 20 hours of video playback i decided to go with the pixel 8 pro with 256 gb of storage and the obsidian color it just looked too stealth not to go with it has a 6.7 inch OLED display with a with a 120Hz refresh rate tensor G3 processor Pixel 8 Pro also has a triple camera system as well 58 megapixel f1.7 main, cam main camera 48 megapixel telephoto camera and 48 megapixel telephoto camera camera 48 megapixel ultra wide camera pack to graph in post AI tools along with the modest 10.5 megapixel selfie camera but what's been most impressive to me with the Pixel 8 Pro's camera is the 48 megapixel 5x optical zoom which is main reason why there have been times where I chose to use my Pixel 8 Pro to take pictures and take it on a trip opposed to the iPhone 15 Pro. The Pixel 8 Pro has a 120Hz refresh rate offers a peak brightness of up to 2400 nits allowing for better visibility and maintaining its brightness even in and bright sunlight Google markers that the Pixel 8 Pro's battery life can last for more than 24 hours. I mostly use the Pixel 8 Pro for productivity now also just don't really use social media that often on this phone. 
even though I have YouTube, Instagram and TikTok installed on this phone, maybe Android has better productivity apps or I don't know, maybe, maybe it's something specific to me where my A phone is more used for consuming content and my pixel be used for more productivity and that may or may not be predicated on the features offered for each phone I mean if you really think about it both have solid cameras I'd say the iPhone has better the camera footage of the iPhone looks better it's more stable especially transitioning between different focal lengths but the pixel is much better in post which is the main reason why when I would travel or go to some important event, I actually would bring the Pixel. And if you're thinking about it, cost the Pixel 8 Pro costs just as much as the iPhone 15 Pro, but it has four focal lames versus the iPhone 15 Pro only having three. When I went to my cousin's Oyo State football game, I really enjoyed using the Pixel 8 Pro shooting in RAW 50 megapixels using the 5x focal length to snap pictures of the stadium and the players on the field was unmatched. Okay, so this is my comparison as an Apple fanboy who's used both the Pixel 8 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro for about three months. In terms of cost, I spent $1,059 on the Pixel 8 Pro. I've seen it on sale for $859. The iPhone 15 Pro cost $1,099. So both phones were similarly priced, but you're more likely to find the Pixel 8 Pro on sale than the iPhone 15 Pro. The Pixel 8 Pro is undoubtedly the more fun phone to use. There are so many amazing AI tools and widget customizations that Android offers along with. The fact that the Pixel 8 Pro display is larger and more vibrant than the iPhone 15 Pro. The 15 Pro is more seamless, the gestures are very natural and fluid. The Pixel 8 Pro still feels a bit clunky and gimmicky when interacting with apps and swiping. The biggest issue I have with the Pixel 8 Pro is that there's no back to top button which makes interacting with websites much more poor experience than I anticipated. If you're looking for a larger display and more exciting experience, I'd say go with the Pixel. You're looking for a more smooth and reliable experience. I give the edge to the iPhone 15 Pro. Wrap up this review of the Pixel 8 Pro and 15 Pro. Be sure to comment your thoughts about each phone or whichever one you prefer and also let me know if you want to see me review review or do a day in a life with the Samsung S24 Ultra and as always have a blessed rest of your week peace.